Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a subscription charge on um, Stripe. Actually, how to set it up. You don't actually have to make the charge. Uh, Stripe handles that automatically, and this is all being done in Node.js. So, if you haven't seen, I have this other video right here that I, I also released today about charging credit cards. Now, it's going to be the intro video. It's going to explain how to get set up to where I'm at. This is um, handling all the front end and getting the token and stuff. So, go check out that video and then jump back over here once I uh, actually start implementing the back end. Here's the, um, here's the repository I was using. I've included the link down below. Um, it's just, it's, I know it works, the code there. So it, it will result in getting this, if you take a look at my screen now, um, this pay with card, which generates a Stripe token, which is used on the back end. Let me jump over there. Uh, generates a Stripe, a Stripe token, which, is, uh, which creates the charge. Okay, so check out that video for all that information. I'm gonna get started just on the back end just to keep this video relatively short on how to do the subscription part of it. So assuming that you've done everything else um, and you are receiving this, uh, this Stripe token here, what we're gonna first do is actually comment this all out for now. We will reuse some of the code, just like the response and stuff, but um, this time we're gonna make it a, it's a subscription. Now, I also have this video in PHP. Um, and in the video, I, I, I create the subscription via API. So what you have to understand is Stripe has um, customers, they have credit cards, they have charges, they have subscriptions, and they have subscription plans. So what you can do is you can create a subscription plan via API and then charge someone um, on that subscription plan. This is if you want to make it a completely dynamic subscription. So um, every user has a different amount they're being charged each month, something along those lines. If you're like, let's say Netflix, and you have um, four plans that every user falls under, what you really want to do is you don't want to create that subscription plan via API, you want to, or, what, that's via code, um, you want to create it via um, the dashboard, and so that you don't, so all you have to do is you subscribe a user to that subscription plan, and that create, creates a subscription object, Hopefully this all makes sense. I'm not trying to overcomplicate it. You can create the plan. I'll show you. Let's start by showing, showing you. So if you go to subscriptions, you have this tab here called uh, plans. I created this one for um, my PHP video. So we can just hit new. And the ID will be, let's say, um, silver. And the name of it will be know, Silver Plan. And it will be $10 a month. And it will be paid monthly. I mean, you've got a, a lot of choices there. You can have a trial period, so you can say, you know, the first month's free, so first three for one days are free or something like that. Uh, the statement description is what will appear on the credit card, and I'm gonna hit save. The important thing to see there is the ID there for the plan, it was called Silver. Um, this will be what we reference, so you can see it right here. If I click the plan, you can see all the information, you can edit the details with the plan. Now this can all be done in code if you want to do it dynamically. Personally, I have no, like, I only, I'm only going to offer, let's say, hypothetically four plans. That's, I just showed eight, but four plans. So next I have to, I have my plan, my subscription plan created. Now I actually have to create the subscription for the user, uh, for the credit card I take. So what I'm going to do is jump over the Stripe documentation. Um, they have us creating subscriptions. And they have a whole bunch of stuff, but what we really want um, we want the quick start to find a plan, create a customer. So with this, okay, so now I'm gonna explain why I mentioned all the customers and cards and all those different objects. So Stripe has this way that I can create a customer, uh, I can create a card, and I can charge that card, and I create, and I get, I get paid. I charge our credit card. Stripe also can, you can also do create a charge and create a customer, and then you can charge the customer again. And you can essentially, what you do there is, if you had a user, you'd create a, a customer and assign, get their customer ID, and then assign any future credit cards to that customer. And so that you, every user has one um, equivalent Stripe customer. And so that's how you do that. But for subscriptions, you actually have to create the customer. Unlike charge, where you can just do it once, you have to actually create it. So it's relatively simple here. So 
so it's this first code up here and what we need is ID here so what we're gonna do is we still need the stripe token it doesn't actually super matter here what you'll probably want to do is pass the email in um, via from the friend using the request request body but I'm actually going to leave it hard coded as they have it here so hypothetically if error otherwise so if it's an error I'm going to take my error message from this previous one um, pause the video if I'm going way too fast so I have the error message and now I'm going to just grab the ID from the customer uh, by the way this is the same as doing just a little better more um, better better uh, written so ID is now the customer ID because we know that object comes out and so the next step is actually charging the customer and that would come with the following so we charge the customer ID the plan is silver this is where the ID the plan ID comes in again with my error message here and now I'm not going to use that anymore but I want to print out the error and then I want to also print out the subscription just in case like anything goes wrong I noticed that I haven't used the token which is actually surprising to me because I really should have at this point Customer created. Um, you have to actually create. I think the issue here is you. I don't actually have a. Um, I want this. Sorry, I'm just scrolling down here. I'm on docs slash recipes slash sign up tutorial. I realize that I don't actually, I'm not ever grabbing that token, so I know it won't work because you need to use it. And here is why. I'm sitting on PHP now. How do I switch the language? I can't. All right, whatever. PHP works. So just scrolling through, I have the plan, which is weekly box, which is, if I jump back with my old code, I have plan. Um, the last thing I need, though, is source here. This, this, honestly, this 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 uh, tutorial looks a little outdated. I hate to say it, but they've completely separated the, those two steps. I mean, because like it, it's supposed to look like this, you know, you create the customer and then you create the charge. Um, but we can do this. We have the stripe token, and I know it's going to source. If this doesn't work, then we'll change it back to what the PHP demo is, but this it should probably work better. I can't believe I just completely contradicted what um, Stripe's tutorial said, but we'll try this. Okay, so jumping back over to my terminal, I'm gonna do an npm run start dev, which will refresh this page. Um, here I have just a, a pay with card button that sends a Stripe token to the back end, which then calls this, this where it'll print all this out. Hopefully it will properly charge the credit card. Okay, it's connected now. So if I hit pay, type in an email. And so 424242 is just the test email, uh, test credit card. And I hit pay. Should have totally been leaving this open okay so it says successful which means it got all the way through to the end here um, and all honestly we can just check our subscriptions tab we have this example user they have they are subscribed they're billing automatically and they were they paid 
their first invoice here, as you can see, with their customer. Um, 28th is today. And so, as you can see, we just charged our first customer on a subscription um, using this quote unquote silver plan. Um, hopefully, this video makes sense. I, I know I jumped over the entire setup, I have that in the other video. Put the link down in the description below. If you have any questions um, or if anything's changed, please just comment below. If you like this video or it helped you, I'd re really like to know. Um, it just makes me understand um, what's helping people and what more uh, what videos I should continue to create. Um, thanks for watching.